everyone, welcome back to another episode of Web Tech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Ticketmaster account. Open up a web browser to get started. In the URL box, type in www.ticketmaster.com and press enter on your keyboard. You'll soon end up in the official web page for Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster is an online ticketing platform which allows its customers to purchase tickets to events, sport games, and theater shows, and concerts as well. To start off and sign up with Ticketmaster, click on the Sign In button at the top right hand corner. You'll end up on this page where you can easily sign into an existing account of yours. If you don't have an account yet and you'd like to create an account, click on the Sign Up link right next to New to Ticketmaster at the top. Now fill in the forms displayed on the screen. Start off by typing in your email address in the first text box and create a password for yourself on the next field. Make sure that your password is at least 8 characters long. It includes a letter and a number. After you are done creating a password, type in your first name in the first name text box. On the next field, type in your last name, select your country of residence from the drop down and enter your zip code or your postal code. Finally, click on the next button. On the next page, you need to confirm your mobile number as an extra layer of verification. So go ahead and enter your mobile number in the text box. After you are done filling in your phone number, click on this little box at the bottom if you want to receive notifications about upcoming events and special offers via text message. If not, leave the box unchecked and click on the next button. Now enter your one-time code sent to your mobile number via SMS. And click on the confirm button in order to verify your mobile number and soon after you do that, you'll be able to create a new account for Ticketmaster. Once you create your account, you can get easy access to your Ticketmaster account, order history and all of your important information in one convenient place. How to log into Ticketmaster account. Log into Ticketmaster account, go and open up a web browser of your choice. In the URL box, type in www.ticketmaster.com and press enter on a keyboard. Once you end up in the official site, go and click the sign in button at the top right hand corner in order to end up in the login area. If you don't have an account yet for Ticketmaster, click on the sign up link and follow the instructions in order to create a new account first. If you already have an existing account, go and enter your email followed by your password associated with your Ticketmaster account. After filling in your email and password, make sure that it is correct by clicking on the show link which will reveal your password. If you don't remember your password during login in, click on the forgot password link and follow the instructions till the end to reset to a new password. Finally, after entering the credential, click on the sign in button. Soon after you click sign in, you'll be able to log into your Ticketmaster account. Once logging into Ticketmaster, you can buy and sell tickets online for concerts, sports, theater, family and other events near you. How to change Ticketmaster account's password To change your password for Ticketmaster, open up a web browser of your choice. Type in www.ticketmaster.com into the search box and press enter. Make sure that you're logged into your Ticketmaster account as well. And now, click on the My Account button at the top right and click on Settings in the pop-up. Doing this will open up your account settings page. Scroll all the way down until you see the Update Password option and type in your new password you'd like to change to in the text box. After you are done creating a password that meets these criteria below, click on the Update Password button. Make sure to enter the one-time code or authentication code sent on your email or your mobile device registered with Ticketmaster and make sure to type in the code correct. Click on the confirm button after you are done and that is how you'll be able to update or change your password for Ticketmaster. Next time you try to log into your account, make sure to enter the new password that you just changed to. How to change email on Ticketmaster account. Open up a web browser to get started. In the URL box, type in www.ticketmaster.com ticketmaster.com and press enter on a keyboard. Make sure that you are logged into your Ticketmaster account like you normally do. Once you are logged into your Ticketmaster account, click on the My Account button at the top right and click on 
settings. From the account settings page, scroll down and click on update email right under your email address. In the email text box appearing right under email address, type in your new email address you would like to change to. Now, after you are done, click on update email. Soon after you type in the new email, click on update email and soon after you do that, you'll be able to change your email address for Ticketmaster. How to add a credit card on Ticketmaster account. If you'd like to add a credit card as a method of payment on Ticketmaster, then the process is quite simple. Open up a web browser of your choice and also make sure that you are logged into your www.ticketmaster.com account. From the main homepage after logged in, click on the My Account option at the top right and select my account tab from your account overview page scroll down and click on payment option you'll be able to add delete or edit your payment method from this page to add in a new credit card or debit card click on the add new card button enter the name on the card in the first text box and on the next field enter your credit card number after typing in your card number on the next field enter your expiration date for the card scroll down and Select your country of residence from the drop-down. Enter your address in the text box and enter your city, state and then your postal code followed by your phone number. Select as a payment method or if you click on the other box, it says that if you ever sell the ticket, this card may be charged to refund the buyer if the event is cancelled, postponed or rescheduled. Finally, click on the add a new card button. In order to add a credit card on Ticketmaster, how to buy tickets on Ticketmaster, open up a web browser to get started and make sure to log into your Ticketmaster account by typing in www.ticketmaster.com into the URL box and log into your account like you normally do. Enter your city or your zip code in the text box and select the dates. Search for the artist, venues or events you'd like to buy the tickets for. Once you type in the artist's name or any events, you'll be able to see the top search results right beneath. Select the events you'd like to purchase the tickets for. And then, on the next page, you'll be able to see the available tickets you can purchase. Select the event and click on the ticket. Filter search the tickets from lowest price or best seat option you can also select the tickets type filter search the tickets from prices or quantity and review the ticket details on the next page and click on get ticket enter your details in the text boxes appearing on the next page and then enter your contact address agree to the ticket exchange policy and finally click on continue to payment now enter your payment information on the next page enter your card number expiry date pvc code the name on the card and enter the billing address and finally click on the pay button in order to buy tickets on Ticketmaster. How to file a complaint against Ticketmaster. If you are having an issue or a bad experience with Ticketmaster, then you can submit your Ticketmaster complaint. Open up a web browser to get started. In the web address bar, type in complaint.biz and press enter. Click on file your complaint button from the official web page and under about which company do you have a complaint. Type in Ticketmaster. Now click the next button and fill in the form displayed right beneath. Enter the title of your complaint and then enter the location where it happened if you wish to. Under describe your complaint, write down whatever complaint you have about the platform or its services for a proof. If you've got a photo or a document, you can click on the upload button and add it on. After you are done with everything, click the next button to file a complaint against Ticketmaster. How to use promo codes in Ticketmaster. First, open up a preferred web browser or your Ticketmaster application. Log into your Ticketmaster account like you normally do. After you are logged in, go ahead and select the tickets you'd like to purchase. Then, also make sure to select your seat. After you're done with it, you need to fill out the payment information. There, select the credit cards, promo codes or the gift cards option and then enter your promo code in the text box. Once you're done with it, you can click on the apply button to use the promo codes on your ticket. How to change your country on Ticketmaster. First, launch open a preferred web browser and enter the URL for Ticketmaster which is www.ticketmaster.com and press enter. 
Also make sure to be signed into your Ticketmaster account. From the main homepage after logged in, go and click on the My Account button at the top right. Now, in the option Pop in Up, click on Settings. On the next page, scroll down until you see the Locations tab. Click on the drop down under Country and select your preferred country you'd want to change to. Give it a click and then click on Update Locations. And now you've successfully changed your country or your location on Ticketmaster account. How to use Ticketmaster gift card. If you want to use the Ticketmaster gift card, then first go ahead and open up a web browser and log into Ticketmaster.com account. Simply type in www.ticketmaster.com into the web address bar and then search. Once you're inside the main homepage of Ticketmaster, make sure that you're signed into your account. After you are, go ahead and select a ticket for your event and then proceed to the checkout page. Once you are done with the tickets, Simply go ahead and proceed through the checkout and then you can use your Ticketmaster gift card during checkout with the purchase. Now, in the checkout page, you'll be able to see the payment area. While setting up a payment method or making a payment, click on this Add Credits, Promo Codes or Gift Cards option. Now, you can enter your Ticketmaster gift card inside the text box that appears Soon after you click on the option, go ahead and enter your gift card number available on your gift card itself and click on the apply button in order to apply the gift card with the purchase. If you are not being able to see the gift card option here on the payment area, then that means you cannot use a gift card for that particular event. How to change email on Ticketmaster Launch open a web browser of your choice on your computer or mobile device or you can also open up your Ticketmaster application. Into the search box, type in www.ticketmaster.com and press enter on your keyboard. Also make sure that you are signed into your account if necessary. And after you are logged into your account, click on the My Account link at the top right. In the pop-up, click Settings. This will open up the Account Settings page. Scroll down under Email Address and enter the email address you would want to change to. After you are done typing in the email, click on Update Email. Now, you'll need to verify your current email address before you can change it to something else. Enter the one-time code sent on your current email address that you are using for the account. Simply go ahead and open up a new tab and log into your email inbox. Once you open up your inbox, you'll be able to receive the one-time code or the authentication code. Copy the code and enter it inside the one-time code text box. Now click confirm. Then after you click on confirm, you'll be able to change to a new email address on Ticketmaster. How to delete your Ticketmaster account. Go ahead and open up a web browser to get started and also make sure to log into your Ticketmaster.com account. Once you're logged in, click on the help icon at the top right and in the text box type in delete my account and search. Now on the next page, from the search result, click on this Closing My Account Profile option. In order to close your account permanently, you'll need to submit an account closure request to Ticketmaster. Click on this link where it says Us. In order to end up in the privacy web form, here, you can go ahead and select If you have an account with Ticketmaster, select Yes. Under Select Request Type, click on Delete My Information, enter your first name and then your last name, and type in your email address associated with Ticketmaster account you'd like to delete. Now click on I'm not a robot and finally click the submit button. Remember that submitting a request to delete your account will result in loss of access to certain digital assets. So make a wise selection while doing so. Click the submit button and you'll need to confirm your identity by opening up your email. You'll be able to receive an inbox to your registered email address for Ticketmaster about your account deletion. You'll need to confirm the email so click on confirm email button and this will take you to a new page. You've successfully verified your identity and you've successfully sent a request to delete your Ticketmaster account. You will receive another email. Once your request has been processed, click the view request button and then enter your email address, enter the characters from the picture right below and click send. A one-time access code will be sent to you via email. Go ahead and open it up, copy the one-time code and click on go to privacy portal. Now after confirming your identity, once you verify your email address, your deletion request will be fulfilled. 
from the Ticketmaster team. That is how you can easily delete Ticketmaster account quick and easy. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more videos like this. Thank you for watching.